I'm Josephia Root C. Cornelio from 2DVMB re reporting about incubator room and hatching room. What is an incubator room? An incubator is a machine that creates a perfect condition for an egg to incubate and hatch successfully. They are designed to regulate incubation temperature and humidity at a perfect level. Why use an incubator to hatch eggs? Incubators can hatch more eggs at a time and is a lot more re re reliable than the hen. What does an incub incubator do? An incubator creates a stable environment in which eggs can be hatched. If you rely on broad hen, there are exter some external threats, such as wild animals that may harm the hen or the eggs. What is a setter incubator? The first 18 days of eggs incubation period eggs must be placed in the setter. Eggs are turned by the incubator every hour in the setter. After the setting period, eggs are physically moved to the hatcher where they will hatch on the day 20 to 22. What happens in the 21-day egg incubation? Day 1. Setting the eggs. Simply putting the eggs in the, in, the, in the incubator. Day 1 to 18, turning eggs. An important part of this process is the turning or rotation of the eggs. Day 7 to 10, candling eggs. Candling is the act of simply shining a light through an egg to see the eggs process. Days 18 to 21, pre-hatching. The egg, the chick, is preparing to hatch. Day 21, baby chicks start hatching. Chicks typically hatch at day 21. But fair warning, do not attempt to help the baby chicks because blood vessels that haven't dried up yet may still attach the shell to the chick. And prematurely pulling of the shell can cause excessive potentially fatal bleeding. A chick can take up to 24 hours to completely hatch although 5 to 7 hours is more common. What is a hatching room? The hatcher is the part of the incubator where the eggs lay still for the last 3 days the incubation cycle. What should a hatching room provide? They should provide a good fitting, airtight doors and be provided with a separate ventilation system, which should discharge to the outer air through some sort of filter to trap and disinfect the fluff of the hatch and to prevent disease dissemination. Size of the hatchery The size of the hatchery is based on the egg capacity of setters and hatchers, number of eggs that can be set each week, and number of chicks hatch each week. Also, also necessary to space to be allotted for the future expansion. Hatchery construction. Hatchery buildings should be intricately designed, properly constructed, and adequately ventilated. Width of the hatchery. The width of the setter and hatcher rooms is to be determined by the type of incubator used. Height of the ceiling. The ceiling the height of the ceiling should be at least 10 feet. Walls. Fireproof materials should be used in constructing the walls as the hatchery also prevents the growth of mold molds common to walls that are porous and absorbent. Ceiling material. Most hatchery rooms have high humidity and during cold weather, condensation of moisture on the ceiling is common. Doors. The, door should, the door's opening should be 8 feet high and at least 4 feet wide and the doors should be double swinging. Floor. Slope of the floor should never be greater than 0 0.5 inch in a 10 feet. The difference of incubation room and hatching room. Incubation room is sitting on eggs for the purpose of hatching young, a brooding on or keeping warm to develop the life within by any process. Hatching room as facility where eggs are hatched under artificial conditions, especially those of fish or poultry.